This Fun Buff video series is brought to you by $6 Shirts. What's up guys, David here from Fun Buff and the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8 are arguably two of the best Android smartphones out right now. So in this two part video series, we're gonna be comparing the two, but we're not gonna be doing your typical comparison. And instead, like we usually do here in the channel, we're gonna be doing it phone buff style where we look at 25 reasons why each of these phones could be considered better than the other. And that way, after watching both videos, you'll have a much better idea as to which one is better for you. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Reason number one, the HTC One has a beautiful all metal build that just screams quality. Everything from the One's unibody design to the way it's cold when you pick it up in the morning makes it feel like a premium device, which is something you can't really say about the Galaxy S5's more plastic materials. Two, in addition to the build quality, the curved design on the back of the One makes it slightly more ergonomic, fitting a bit more comfortably and naturally in the palm of your hand. Three, Speaking of the back, you notice that there's not one, but two cameras on the M8, the second of which is used for recording depth information, allowing for things like post-capture refocusing and a host of other pretty cool effects. 4. While the M8's camera has a lesser amount of total pixels, each of its pixels, or what HTC likes to call ultra pixels, are bigger and therefore bring in more light to the sensor, resulting in better looking photos in low light conditions. Reason number 5. But low light abilities can only take you so far, so HTC equipped the new one with dual LED flashes which together give you better and more natural looking light than the single LED found on the Galaxy S5. 6. With HTC Zoe, you can take a burst shot of up to 20 photos and continue to record a full on video at the same time. But maybe best of all, Zoe captures a few photos before you even press the shutter button to help make sure you don't lose any of those codec moments due to a slow reaction time. Seven. Like it or not, we live in a world where selfies are a thing, and with the HTC One, you can capture those selfies in higher resolution with better low light performance on the M8's 5 megapixel front facing camera. 8. While this one can ultimately come down to personal preference, most people agree that Sense 6 on the HTC One offers a better looking or at the very least a more consistent looking UI than TouchWiz does on the Galaxy S5. 9. And maybe more importantly, the Sense UI on the M8 is less cluttered than TouchWiz on the S5, making things like finding a certain setting to switching camera modes a bit easier. Reason number 10. Probably the feature that the HTC One is best known for, the M8 has dual front-facing stereo speakers which not only deliver significantly louder sound than the Galaxy S5, they also deliver much better quality sound as well, making the S5 single rear speaker sound almost tinny in comparison. 11. If you accidentally drop and crack the M8 screen, HTC offers a free one-time repair for customers that are within the first six months of their ownership. 12. Another HTC advantage is the fact that some of the HTC exclusive apps are on the Play Store, which means HTC will be able to update and improve them quickly without having to do a full-on system update that typically takes months to roll out due to carrier delays. 13. An example of one of those apps is the HTC Gallery, which has a unique image match feature where you can match an image to other similar images on your phone and create a whole new album from the matching images easily. 14. Unlike the Galaxy S5, the HTC One has a built-in FM radio, which can be used with headphones to listen to your favorite stations without the need or use of an internet connection, which can come in handy when you don't have data reception or are trying to save on data usage. Reason number 15. With Motion Launch, you can pick the HTC One up and launch straight into a variety of things like your home screen, blink feed, or even the camera with a simple gesture, making getting straight into what you want on your phone a lot faster and more efficient. 16. When you receive a call on the M8, you can simply lift it to your ear to automatically answer the call without ever having to physically touch the screen. 17. And thankfully, you can set the ring volume to automatically lower when you pick the one up, so that way you don't have to risk blasting your ears with those powerful boom sound speakers. But you can also set the M8 to do the opposite, where the ring volume gradually increases whenever the M8 detects that it's in your pocket or purse, reducing the chances of you missing a call. 18. If you ever happen to run low on storage space on the M8, you can go into the settings and use the Make More Space feature that allows you to clear cache, delete apps, and manage media all from one convenient location. 19. 
Both the Galaxy S5 and the HTC One offer some sort of basic cloud backup option, but with the HTC Backup, the M8 takes this one step further, storing everything from your home screen layouts and blink feed sources to your text messages and call history. So if you ever needed to do a factory reset or replace your M8, you can easily restore nearly everything back to the way it was, which can save hours of setup time. Reason number 20. Evidenced by the foam buff style speed test we conducted, while the HTC One and the Galaxy S5 have the same processor, the M8 has been shown to be faster time and time again with a generally snappier and more responsive experience. 21. If you're the type of person who buys their phones at full retail price, it's worth mentioning that depending on where you get your phones from, the HTC One could be on average $20 to $30 cheaper than the Galaxy S5. 22. But the bigger difference is what you get even when you're at the same price point. For example, on a standard tier contract in the US, both phones run for roughly $200. The difference is the HTC One comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, whereas the Galaxy S5 only comes with 16, making the HTC One a better value from a storage standpoint. 23. Since both of these phones are running Android, both give you insight into the way you use the internet on your phone, but the HTC One takes this one step further and also gives you insight into your calls and messages, giving you a better sense of how you use everything that your carrier may be charging you for. 24. While the flap on the Galaxy S5's charging port provides an advantage that you'll hear about in the Galaxy S5's version of this video, it does come with a drawback in that it can be annoying to open and close every time you want to charge the phone, which is something you won't have to worry about on the HTC One. Alright, we're finally here. Reason number 25. Many of us use our smartphones to stay connected to the world around us and, with HTC's Blink Feed, the M8 makes this easier to do with it beautifully aggregating your social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with your own handpicked media sources from the thousands available all in one convenient feed which can keep you entertained for hours on end. Alright, that about wraps up the HTC One version of this video, so if you haven't already, uh, check out the Galaxy S5's version as well which will be entertaining somewhere on the screen or linked down in the description. But before I head out, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor for today's video in $6 shirts. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about the shirts I wear in some of my videos, like this one, or this one, or even this one. And I've actually been buying them from $6 shirts before they became a sponsor for the show. And as you can probably guess by their name, the shirts cost just $6. So if you want a shirt like this one or one from the hundreds of designs available, click on the first link in the description, get yourself a ridiculously good deal and help support the channel in the process. All right guys, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one or the S5's version of this video, which again is linked down below. Later.